SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Elisa, would you like to start? Oh, I took some notes. <laughs> I didn't, so I'll be very, very quick. Um, I'd like to thank you all for your time. Uh, it's been a long day, a full day, uh, and you've been here with us all day, being very patient uh, and sharing your experiences, sharing your experiences, um, your ideas. It's been very nice. I've learned more than I expected, I have to say, and, uh, and that's about it. I would also like to thank all the people that you can't see up there, the interpreters and also in the small room there, those are people, the invisible people who made it all possible, you know, microphones and uh, technicalities, and, and they are very important, even though we do not see them on stage. So many thanks. <laughs> Um, I would, of course, first like to thank the organizers and to everyone for coming. Um, I said earlier that I took some notes. They are not uh, nearly as lovely as the graphic notes there on the board. Um, but so much research was presented uh, to, uh, today here and such good practices. Um, we could probably like extract some... Uh, some key words or sentences uh, about facts that may seem, seem simple, but then again, we have to keep reminding each other. We have to uh, have uh, those facts in mind all the time. For example, we need accessible information. We need accessible communication so we can lead a quality life. And then people are diverse. We are diverse. Uh, we commun communicate in different ways. We learn in different ways. We feel frustrated when we feel excluded from conversations. We can get upset with the speaker or, or with ourselves in these situations. And then not every guideline for speech or communication works for every person. When we speak, communicate with someone, it's very important that we get feedback. Reaction from both parties is very important. Context of the communication is very important. What I learned today, what I knew, but I have to keep in mind that developing guidelines for spoken easy language in our CELSI project will be a challenge, but an exciting challenge. I also didn't learn this today, but it once again confirmed that teamwork is very important. Uh, if we want the guidelines to be useful, we need input from different professionals and, of course, the users of easy language. And then, in the end, events like this one today um, are very good for sharing this knowledge and practices and ideas. On that note, Thank, thank you once again for hosting us here in Trieste. Um, in October, we will have our next CELSI event. This will be held in uh, Latvia, in Riga. If you have the opportunity and the chance to come there, please do so. Um, there we will present the first draft of our CELSI guidelines for spoken easy language. And of course, if you get the chance, you're most, most welcome to join us. Uh, also, uh, not to forget, you can follow the project online. Uh, you can contact us on social media. And also, Andre, uh, if he would be here still, he would say, uh, please subscribe to the newsletter and you will learn what is going on with the project. And please provide your input. It will be most valuable. Thank you very much. SELFSI, Spoken Easy Language for Social Inclusion. Partners are Zavo Trisa, RTV Slovenia, Dyslexi Verbundet, Universita degli Studi di Trieste, 
Vieglas Valodas Agentura, Vilnius Universitetas, Vši Informacijos Kaupimo ir Sklaidos Centras. Funded by the European Union.